all present here. So we are moving on to the final day, uh, session two. This session will be handled by Mr. Santosh, Manager Supply Chain Management, Mahendra Heavy uh, Engines Limited, Pune. So let me invite uh, Mr. Arun K. sir for introducing the speaker. Uh, good morning, all participants. Good morning, Santosh Rajali, sir. Uh, it's a great pleasure to invite you for this uh, shortened training course on NDR, uh, on behalf of NDR Vishnu family. We invite you for the uh, talk, sir. So it's a great pleasure to introduce you. Uh, Sri Santosh Rajali, sir, uh, he is working as manager, supply chain manager, Mahindra Heavy Agents Limited. He works in various capacities with various uh, automotive chains like Tata, Mahindra, Pure Automotive, and also uh, with uh, Tata Johnson, uh, Warok Engineering Private Limited. And he is also having a couple of certificates in Six Sigma Black Belt. Sir, it's a great pleasure to invite you for the talk. The session is on to you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for this uh, detailed uh, introduction. Uh, in fact, it was a great pleasure to uh, have these uh, some le learnings for students and uh, share my knowledge. So I will just uh, share the presentation and we can start the session. Okay. And how it will be uh, in between uh, students can uh, ask or will uh, ask the questions at the end of session. How we go about? Or they can put in chat. No box. problem. Anyway, we can manage. It's up to the participants. Okay. Okay, no issues. Uh, we'll uh, take a break in between maybe uh, five minutes so that they can ask the relevant questions so that uh, they will be clear about the concept. Okay. 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 I will just share the screen. So good morning students and uh, faculty. Okay. So I will just uh, have some basic uh, understanding about AI and IoT in manufacturing industry first. So we'll basically start with some basics first. Okay. So uh, like uh, you all know that in current manufacturing, all departments like manufacturing, uh, supply chain, quality control. So all these functions have started using AI and IoT. So it has started from last two years, it has started in a big way. And uh, you can say the uh, manufacturing has already uh, moving ahead with these uh, benefits, what they are getting from this uh, AN IoT. So basically, uh, if you consider the normal IoT, like internet of things, where whatever we are using regular day-to-day -day life, like uh, whatever our apps, uh, some uh, door, um, you can say video, then some normal functionality like uh, sensor related things. That is a normal IoT, like internet of things. But when we use this in industry, it is called as a IIoT. So it is an industrial internet of things. So what do we, uh, it, different between this is like uh, in manufacturing or supply chain or any management system or quality system. So if use this uh, functionality of IoT for industrial application, then we call it as a I IoT. So that is the basic difference between IoT and I IoT. Okay. So when we have started this uh, for manufacturing use, so it is basically uh, you can say the uh, whatever current uh, problems are there or whatever current data are there that we need to map in a business model first. Okay. So we have to define a business model like what is the basically uh, what is the basic use of this uh, AI or IoT in manufacturing so that we can frame how to use this in, as a business model. For example, if you want to use this in a supply chain management, so how you will use in supply chain management? So supply chain management, you can have a, a inventory as well as you can have a lead times or you can have a end-to-end -end visibility in supply chain. That is from supply chain management perspective. So if you want to use in quality, so in quality, again, there are different streams like uh, you want to use in you for warranty quality. You have to use for new product development quality. You have to use for uh, manufacturing quality. So based on the uh, end uh, application, so in which functionality you want to use this. So the problem statements will be different. So if you want to use for warranty, then uh, you have to predict the warranty life of product. You have to predict how the uh, signals will come to customer. 
or how the signals will come to manufacturer that uh, this part is having this much warranty life and this part is already over with this warranty life and you can further use for further two months or one year so that advancing signals will come to uh, manufacturer that uh, this part need to be replaced in this vehicle so that kind of advanced uh, you can say uh, iot and ai uses in warranty so if you want to use for plant quality then you can say for example if uh, anybody is assembling some part then you have to get that signal whether this part is okay or not okay so that if that you get that signal while assembling you will not use that part for assembly so this is a small basic examples so we'll go in detail uh, during for the course course of actions okay so in the industry 4.0 ai and iot is a basic uh, thing uh, on which this all this development of industry is uh, dependent and in the all the functions like scm quality manufacturing everybody is talking about digitization now so nobody want to do this manual processes and everybody want to move in a digital uh, platform wherein all the processes will be from system signals will come from system and whatever actions need to be give, uh, taken there will be some manual intervention uh, in initial phase only so wherein uh, the model uh, need some time for training okay because initially when you start this uh, uh, projects initially for 6 months or 7 months the model need to be trained for taking certain decision so for that initial period wherein uh, the model is not perfectly trained for taking that decisions so you we need to have some manual intervention so that uh, the model will give some uh, accurate result and in case some deviation is there in result the model uh, the programming or model can be corrected with the manual intervention okay so uh, if you see uh, in case of ai in manufacturing it is used for reducing the design lead times reduce the material waste reduce the uh, reusability of product predictive maintenance in other subject like predictive maintenance means currently in traditional way whenever there is a failure in machine then and then only the we will address the machine uh, maintenance but if you see uh, if you implement the predictive maintenance from iot and ai perspective the machine will give the signal that after one day or two day this part is going to fail you have to replace this part so that there will not be a uh, downtime or breakdown of machine so that is called as a predictive maintenance okay so we have check uh, there are two types of uh, learning for uh, ai and iot one is supervised learning second is unsupervised learning so if you go for supervised learning in supervised learning there is a, always a master uh, with which you have to tally your results or you have to tally your targets unsupervised learning means your uh, this uh, program will itself will learn from its failures for example uh, last time he has given some decisions uh, with respect to some decisions related to maintenance or some decision related to product warranty and if that decision has not uh, taken or that alarm is false or that alarm is true based on the actual results only that program will learn itself only so unsupervised means there will not be a supervised like uh, master data or master targets it the program itself will learn and it will correct its own programming when you it will go 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 forward for next uh, set of actions okay so we'll just go to the predictive maintenance example so if you called as a failure to maintenance we have to guess how the machine will function okay and we should not have last minute uh, breakdown so if you say uh, like if it is a last minute breakdown then we can have like uh, labor uh, loss then we will have production loss we will have time loss and over to that again customer orders will be lost so to avoid this the predictive maintenance is one of the example wherein we can use this ai and iot okay then uh, we can uh, understand how the AOT, iot is whether it is required uh, internet connection or it is not required internet connection that depends on the uh, server like if the server is locally connected to the machines or uh, connected to the uh, you can say manufacturing line that can have their respect to local servers but if it is connected to cloud and that iot is uh, the all the data are getting uh, stored in the cloud then definitely will be needing internet connection so that all the data's uh, interface will be with respect to uh, server on the cloud then uh, 
you can uh, have these uh, three layers like uh, there are perception layer network layer and application layer application layer means wherein actual signals are coming uh, what to do to the end uh, user network means backup network perception means backup programming and all these things okay sensors all the programming so uh, here uh, we can say that like it is having a sensors software and some part of uh, you can say uh, cloud okay these are the three elements wherein iot data are getting stored okay so so if you check uh, like uh, components are like device one is device then resource controller service database web service and analysis these are the basic components of iot okay and if you go uh, like uh, bluetooth is a normal iot you all know that is uh, connected to computer and fast, fast data transfer similarly raspberry pi is a one kind of software wherein we can have a low cost data transfer because if you go uh, with the these softwares uh, uh, raspberry and, and android windows 10 so the data transfer for uh, high data transfer like manufacturing there is a data generated getting generated every 5 minutes or 10 minutes there is lot of data is get, getting generated so for handling this type of high huge data you need uh, to have connectivity to cloud uh, then uh, raspberry pi backups backup softwares are required so for that only uh, individual organizations are having their own servers and now even uh, organization is not preferring their own servers they are directly linking this data to cloud so that that data are safe whenever there is a issues uh, in terms of uh, some hacking or you can say some uh, down uh, down of network at organization level so data are safe now with respect to cloud so any any questions uh, with respect to till that till time is the my screen visible shanmugan Yes, it is visible. Yeah. So, any any questions on these these basic concepts? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So, can we go to uh, how the we are using uh, this AI to an AI in our company? Okay, sir. Okay. So, uh, this is the basic uh, engine manufacturing process. so i will just explain in detail so i will just put a pointer pointer here just one minute so if you consider uh, this is the machining centers so we are getting the parts from supplier we are getting some manufacturer parts plus some raw parts like in case of casting the castings we are getting so we have in in house machining center so in machining center we have heller we have mag machine we have macino machine so these three machining centers are there wherein we are manufacturing this part from raw casting to the finished uh, machine component then similarly we have honing operations after that uh, there are two honing machines like for diesel separate and gasoline separate gasoline engines then uh, we can have we have one robot so one machine of robot wherein they are handling these components during assembly process then we have engine assembly then we have cold te cold test cold test means whenever there is a engine is manufactured then we have certain parameters to be checked for uh, engine performance so cold test means we are not uh, firing that engine so for example we are not putting petrol or diesel in that engine and we are not running that engine cold test means we are just giving uh, you can say coolant and water throughout the, all the systems and we are just checking the all the pressure temperature functionality of that engine and the based on that functionality uh, functionality we can certify whether that engine uh, is performing okay and if some doubt is there or some some parameters are not uh, okay in that then we can go for hot test hot test means uh, it is like actual engine firing like whenever vehicle is running so it is a hot firing so it is a hot test means actual engine performance we are checking how how is the uh, you can say the load what is the torque what is the uh, you can say all the temperatures what is whether all sensors are working 
and then it goes to vehicle assembly so this is a basic engine for clo wherein we are manufacturing engines at our plant so this is a basic assembly process so so how many pro projects were taken for this year actually these are the total nine projects on ai and iot were taken for this month one is the predictive maintenance of machining center what i explained to you that uh, uh, we are doing the predictive maintenance of machines like if before failure only we should understand how the failure will happen in advance okay second is the predictive maintenance of honing machine that is part of our machine shop then predictive maintenance of robot washer machine robot washer machine robot washer machine means we have a robotic washing machine wherein all these uh, block head components that are manually handled earlier and that was taking lot of time so now it is handled by robots like uh, we have robots and that robots are giving uh, all the like uh, intricate shapes of that block head so robot is giving the uh, we have program for that robot and that robot is uh, washing complete component that we are having robotic washing machine okay then i have explain you about the cold test cold test means engines are not fired but uh, it is a performance test machine okay similarly uh, there are two projects in cold test one is predictive maintenance and second is a predictive uh, quality okay so in case of predictive maintenance it is related to maintenance of that cold test and hot test machine wherein we will get some advanced signal before failure of machine so in case of predictive quality uh, so there is a linkage between cold test machine and hot test machine so uh, almost there are almost 80 to 90 parameters on which uh, uh, we have certain uh, you can say target specification so within that specification that engine has to perform so we are trying to develop a program between cold test machine and hot test machine so that based on the performance of that engine parameters for example there are 80 parameters for 80 parameters so out of 80 parameters for example 20 parameters are not showing good results so based on that 20 parameters not good results whether we have to go for hot test or not go for hot test that kind of ai project you can say ai and iot that we are doing for this uh, engines because going for hot test is again a cost because one is uh, that takes almost one hour to hot test engine second is the manpower third is a uh, you can say fuel so to avoid all this cost we have to predict whether that engine is required hot test or it is okay with cold test results that kind of analysis is required okay then uh, one is the coolant doses like you uh, you must be knowing that uh, for machining center uh, you need to have uh, coolant change or addition of coolant uh, on certain frequency so <laughs> by using this predictive quality so based on the quality of that coolant and you can say the viscosity parameters and the color and uh, the you can say particles in that coolant you, we can decide whether uh, how at what time of frequency that coolant is required additional coolant need to be required for that machine so these are the nine projects wherein uh, we are working here on uh, in mahindra on these nine projects <coughs> So for any project, uh, you need to be clear with the problem statements. Like if you want to do predictive maintenance of machining center, so you need to be clear with the data, like how many machines to be done, so what parameters to be done, or whether that all six machines are interrelated. For example, first machine is honing machine, second machine is uh, grinding machine. So all these six, seven machine need to be interconnected. So if any, any machine is having any problem, that signals will go to next machine. So that is a, that is a kind of IoT is used in a machine shop. Because IoT is means internet thing means not only uh, connections. The signals need to be go to next machine. That pro, what are the problem is uh, that machine is facing while machining that component first. Because if you uh, not uh, that take that signal for next operation, then that next operation will do and that parts will get rejected in the next operation. So first machine need to give signal to next machine, whether that <coughs> first machine parameters are okay and whether that parts are getting manufactured as per the tolerance. Otherwise, uh, if that signals will not come to next machine, 
then that components will uh, reject in next machine or something accident will happen in machine because of some wrong parameter of machine in first machine so that all the machines are inter interconnected so with the sensors uh, with the network uh, you can say with the this uh, resp uh, raspberry pi softwares so all these seven machines who have connected uh, with respect to uh, the server and the signals are coming from that uh, individual machines and that is getting analyzed in the central servers so what machines need to be attended by respect to maintenance person so this is a problem statement you can say here what type of control machine is having then uh, where the local server or server or central server then what type of data is required to control that machine for for example uh, if you want to analyze the data you will not able to directly uh, uh, check the component when the machining machining is going on so you have to define certain parameters like uh, when the machining is going on you have to measure the temperature of coolant you have to measure the temperature of machine uh, respect to then you have to measure the you can say the speed feed then you can say the vibrations so all these signals wherever there are for example vibrations are coming in uh, machine uh, spindle so what kind of vibration whether that is within acceptable limits or that that vibrations are going out of tolerance then you have to get a signal whether that bearing need to be changed so that components will be there so what type of data are need to be captured from that machine that you need to define that data but for this respect to you can say the respect to knowledge is required like uh, if anybody is want to do project in maintenance or if anybody want to do project in quality so you need to have a detailed understanding of that uh, respect to subject otherwise connecting uh, machines or connecting uh, through software it is a something that it is a only a hardware quite kind of thing but what kind of data inputs data inputs are required for that machine that is uh, whether uh, where, where your specialization or you can say subject expert is required in that otherwise the if you give some wrong input signals like if you are not checking the correct parameters then and then also you will not have that uh, respect to output so if even after investing some 20 lakh or 30 lakh and if you control wrong parameters or wrong data then there is a no use of ai iot because it will just give what you will feed input that will just process and that will give output it is not something that it will analyze its own uh, whether this parameter is correct or not correct first we have to define the parameters if you not defining the parameters at the right stage then the complete project will not have the desired expected results which management is expecting out of that uh, investment so you have to define uh, how much of automation is required because every time everything cannot be automated because we have to look from cost uh, factors also so within given optimized budget we have to see how to uh, optimize that budget or how to control for example you have budget of 20 lakh and you can have some priority that this machines will require these three sensors these two sensors is not required we can implement in second phase first we have to target you can say the control the results of these three sensors then in second phase if the results are not okay or you can say the output is not coming as per expectation then we can have a second phase wherein additional cost is required so whenever there is a project in terms of ai or iot it is not something that it is not you have budget targets also you have timeline targets also you have quality and delivery targets also so within this all constraint you have to define the, your respective project then you have to collect the historic data so how many times that machine has failed or how many times how many parts are changed what the what is the what was the frequency of changing the parts then uh, you can say the possible quick wins quick wins means something if you analyze from the machine it is not ki everything uh, ai and iot will solve your, all your every problem day to day problem something is a basic problems also which for which you don't need ai or iot so for that you can uh, simply do some analysis and uh, resolve that issues then uh, you can identify what are the quick wins from business analytics so advanced analytic use cases so machining health score is one of the output then uh, remaining life prediction so what i explained you earlier that you have to predict the life of that 
respective components for example machine is giving some vibration but within that signal you have to predict whether that bearing will uh, uh, extend its life for more six months or you have to replace its bearing within one month so that kind of uh, you can say product life uh, prediction will give you machine then machine learning breaks uh, rules for generation of productive alerts so you you will get some signals on that machines so this component need to be changed so that kind of hist signals are there and uh, you can say benefits means uh, reduce of dip downtime maintenance cost reduction and quality issues resolution so the, uh, it is a this is a overall you can say project uh, template and uh, this kind of project uh, almost nine projects are going on so i will just explain you the one project uh, how the it's look like uh, in terms of framework so uh, shanmugan uh, if any anyone want to ask anything on this uh, can ask so that it will be clear how the projects are getting uh, defined at initial stages so any queries from the audience please you can clarify your doubts with the resource person think so far no uh, if you you will understand this uh, in theoretically in uh, you can say institute or uh, you can say a training program but it is whatever i am showing you is the end use of this all this ai and iot how it is used in uh, industry so if you want any clarification in terms of how the you are not able to understand some concept you can i can explain in detail uh, because some of the concept may not be uh, very familiar with you because it is a day to day we are using this so it is uh, common to us so we are able to correlate so if you, anybody having doubt in any of the concept na you can ask in detail so that your doubts will be clear at, at this stage only okay sir just continue sir yeah yeah okay so uh, this is a use case one so you can see so here operational technology data okay so this datas are required to be defined at the start of project only like what is the engine serial number what is model number what is the test test start time end time cycle time test results what is the torque speed vibration pressure temperature so whatever parameters i have asked you na so these all these parameters need to be defined in this phase only because these all these parameters are going to go in the database okay so here is the database wherein all these parameters will be get captured online this is a machine okay this is a local server okay local server means whatever these parameters are getting tracked that gets captured through local server local server is connected to central server central server is connected to the iot and uh, analytics platform okay so here analytic platform means whatever programs we have de developed for this project so that is a uh, connected in the central server we have one agency Uh, we can say JDI is a uh, one partner uh, with whom we are working on these projects. So they have their own server. So here all these data are getting captured in their server. So for capturing and analy analytics of this data, there is a backup here. So you can say the uh, equipment model, you can say the uh, controller, plan maintenance job, unplanned maintenance, spare spare replacement data, history of failures. so this is a past datas and this is a current datas so if you map this current datas with respect to past datas the machine machine learning platform need to take certain decisions okay so that will capture current datas that will uh, correlate with respect to past datas okay and by correlating this do both these datas it will give real time insights insights okay so what insight it will give like how many numbers of engines are tested what is the average cycle time required what is the how many number of tests are failed okay and uh, how many times uh, what component is changed because of that failure 
what is the energy consumption what is the fuel consumption or you can say what is the downtime because of that failure so this this will come through a dashboard so we'll have machine dashboard wherein all these signals are getting captured and we'll have this real time dashboard on that machine so all this data is live you can see on that machine and from this uh, this is a analytics this is a descriptive insight okay because this is something that failure is happen or something downtime is there or cycle time is increase but we, we should not look at the you can say the data data will just give you signal, signals like what is the actual conditions or what is going on with that machine but you have to go back and analyze why why that is happening like why the cycle time is increased for that testing how many numbers of engine fail why failed how, how much downtime what is the reasons of the downtime what is the repair cost because of that downtime what is number of alerts because alerts alerts are machines are giving alerts but there is one person on that machine based on his experience he will just bypass that alert that this alert can be managed like that so if number of times he has uh, you can say uh, not uh, not taken that alert as a uh, signal and he has just bypassed that alert so we have to analyze why that alerts are bypassed whether there is something wrong with our data or whether there is something wrong with our analysis or whether there is something wrong with our uh, uh, analytics model so when, whenever whenever there is a some false alarm or some some pass to go back to our basics and uh, we have to check our basic whether basics are correct whatever program we were saying that we have defined this program for this uh, iot whether that program is clear or not that we have to go back to basic again then uh, you can say energy consumption how why the engine energy consumption is high so uh, there are two types of uh, analytics one is descriptive and one is the uh, you can say statistical so this is descriptive means you can measure this statistical means real time whatever is coming you have to just uh, analyze whatever the graphs are there or whatever signals are there so this is a, a real time you can say the output of that whatever we have seen in this per, first phase well, this was the basic project complete project end to end project and this is a something that uh, how the project will execute what will be the input what will be the process happening inside and what will be the output of the project anything you want to ask on this is this model clear to you um, whatever i am explaining or it is something very you can say um, basic or it is something not uh, understood yes anmogan yes sir uh, can i get some feedback whether they are able to correlate this uh, with their uh, current whatever uh, understanding they are having with respect to ai and iot or uh, it is whatever i am explaining it is too basic or too advanced you can uh, give some feedback from our side this okay sir but the, from the participant side i am not getting any response uh, they have to speak na otherwise uh, how i will understand because at least we will get some feedback whether uh, whatever is uh, going on is uh, we are matching with respect to their frequency or i am going going too fast or going too slow i will I need some feedback okay just continue so we can see at the end okay no issue okay so here the predictive insights are coming and we have to uh, define the actions based on the this uh, whatever data are analyzed okay so this is one uh, second project wherein uh, uh, we have the phanuk controllers for the hot test cold test machine similarly input data are given uh, historical data are check real time insights are coming and here you can see the uh, maybe somebody might be knowing the statistical process control so the machine is giving the cpk value spc charts 
then uh, whatever statistical results are there the machine is taking its own call to adjust the parameters so here something like initially what i told you that initial for some period we will need some manual intervention but but once the machine is uh, learning on its own then uh, you can say the uh, we need not to intervene uh, in between machine the machine will takes it take its own decisions like robots and uh, it will uh, change the parameters of machine and will adjust the settings accordingly but for that the model model accuracy has to be uh, improved because it will not happen within a 6 month or 1 month it takes almost 1 to 2 years to build 99.9% accurate models because all these uh, models and success of this ai projects depends on how accurate your programs how accurate your models are built because whatever output will come that will be just a, you can say the input process and output so if you feed something garbage inside the program then the garbage will come out but if you will feed the good inputs that for that program or good good uh, parameters then the output will be definitely uh, will be as per your expectations or you can say uh, 99.9% accurate results will come from that uh, program so this is a uh, one more project for plant energy so energy means like uh, we are using uh, multiple uh, you can say we are using solar energy also in plant we are using uh, recirculating the hot water of machine and using that for uh, uh, heating our machine uh, water similarly we are using uh, normal electricity also so for plant level we have energy meters at different locations like for machines we have energy meters what is the energy consumption for office we have different energy meters so at plant level we have certain targets like you have to have this uh, electricity consumption within this controls okay so we have maintain one dashboard at central level wherein all the data are getting captured on live basis and on next day we can analyze which machine or which section has consumed most power in last 8 uh, eight, eight hours or you can say last 24 hours so we can check whether that uh, machine was having some issue because of that it is consuming extra power or uh, something uh, is uh, you can say meters are wrong that analysis would need to take in a second phase so this is a energy energy management project wherein uh, our target is at least we should reduce our energy consumption by 50% with respect to current current consumption so here you can say how the these are the number of test beds like i told you cold test hot test test beds this is a sap cloud platform you can say uh, device management connectivity and edge so this is our sap platform and on sap platform the backup whatever partners currently i am using who are using jdi is our partner so they are having their own uh, servers like sap is integrated with their data like iot data management api so api means it is something like they are having their um, you can say industry uh, experience programs like uh, if you are going for predictive maintenance or predictive quality it is not something that only mahindra is doing this predictive quality and maintenance if that customer is, uh, our supplier like uh, jda has already worked with uh, some other customer like tata motors he has work or uh, he has worked with maruti so he, he must be having some database with his uh, knowledge so api is something like that only so for example uh, we want to redu reduce the transit lead time of the vehicles from chennai when vehicle is coming to pune okay so the normal time for example is 3 days okay and the, we are having gps tracking for that vehicle that is getting track on the server but that whatever our partner is there jda that must be having some tata motors or maruti data in their server for same movements from chennai to pune how many number of vehicle the sub, uh, tata motors or mahindra has received and how many times that has reached in 36 hour how many times it has reached in 32 hour so they will just plot the last two years data and they, they will just take the average and they will suggest the alternate route based on the traffic condition live traffic conditions for example 
that vehicle is connected to the server okay and it is coming from chennai so it will suggest whether from uh, bangalore whether yeah, uh, that vehicle need to take hyderabad route or that vehicle need to take uh, kolapur route like that example i am saying just so based on that predictive sense uh, signal driver so whatever uh, you can say the delay was supposed to happen because of normal road the you, you can say google map will will connect to our server ai server and that will give to signal to uh, that driver that uh, you want you have to change your route because uh, now the that route is having traffic or that route is closed now so that kind of advance signal will will goes to that driver and that vehicle will reach on time so that our production or uh, losses will not happen at our end so this kind of uh, you can say the route datas or live datas are already there with their our uh, channel partners so they can suggest whether we have to change our vehicle routes or we have to go with the normal routes that is one example just i explain you uh, that the only depend on historical datas first okay and uh, you can say that these are the applications uh, hana is uh, our sap hana is uh, our server okay and uh, whatever signals coming from gda that will come to here okay and this is the uh, run on, you can say java or python these are the programming languages at back end it is used even r r so r language also is uh, more used in uh, ai platforms currently nowadays Uh, this is the correlation matrix like uh, i have explain you that we have number of parameters like uh, this is the example for you can say the stocking of parts how much parts we need to stock in our uh, factory so that depends on price okay that depends on the time uh, required to receive that part for example i am getting some parts from uh, pune so that i will receive in one day But if I get some parts from Chennai, that will take four days. Then how the consumption is happening weekly? Then what is the coefficient of variation? What is the consumption density? So both these parameters are correlated with respect to each other. So one means highest correlation, and uh, minus point one means uh, lowest correlation. That is negative correlation. Means price and density is not having any correlation. Minus correlation. so it is just a, you can say logistic regression or whatever uh, current uh, regression models you are using na it is just a correlation between parameters so which parameters will affect the output of uh, that model so for uh, here wo, whichever parameters are having highest correlation that only we need to take for the further uh, you can say model analysis or uh, you can say the programming input so here you can uh, drop some parameters or some parameters can be added in initial stage only so this is a basically data sources we have discussed this in this is the iot and machine learning platform and this is a back end business application like data servers test beds and this is the test failures results and then based on that results we can go for six sigma or spc analytics these are the predictive ins insights like eliminate of hot test and cold test Uh, you can say defect root causes predictive quality predictive engine performance so these are the four outputs which will get from all these projects so uh, if you take the example of uh, engine cold test and hot test okay so how the machine will learn in the back end first we have to clear about the algo algorithm okay so what will happen in engine test either it will pass or it will fail okay if it will pass then what is the possibility of hot test because this we are talking about cold test first and what is the possibility of load test in that also send data to machine then hot test or load test results here also similar thing and if it is failed what will be the outcome what is the probability of hot test what is the probability of load test similarly we have to clear in our mind that how the machine will take its decision 
but all these programming are manual only so first we have to clear about how to uh, you can say write that programs uh, if it is failed how it will uh, give the signal if it is pass how it will give us a signal program similarly the quality use case so here in this is the engine manufacturing data this is engine assembly data this is cold test data this is hot test data and this is the field data so from end to end data like part level to field so this is a you can say uh, yeah, like predictive maintenance this is the predictive quality so wherein we have to predict the our warranty field failures to the back to components okay like what are the failures in testing what are the failures in assembly and what are the failures at part level which are coming from supplier or anyone want to ask anything any queries from the audience so please utilize the resources what we have person like santosha is working in magenta for a very long time so he is giving a full exposure on how exactly we are utilizing the iot on the industry Uh, but sanmugan uh, just i want to understand out yes, of sir. this uh, 41 participant how many are students and how many are faculty member full uh, all the 100% are uh, faculty members no students no students okay yeah. sorry I, i was thinking that some students also there no this is entirely for the faculty development program it is purely for faculty members throughout india okay okay yeah but uh, then i uh, i was th thinking that student by might be uh, uh, shy on asking questions so <laughs> faculty members can ask questions because they are already teaching on these subjects na huh, for students hmm. just continue sir yes because i will also learn something because from them if they will uh, give some new perspective whatever we are doing uh, they will just give suggestion so you have to do like this or you can change your uh, some fine tuning this program some suggestions also also welcome so that we can implement that in our project that will help us because we are also learning this sure. subject is also new to us also industry it has just came from last one year you can say and before one year there was not a major focus on uh, this kind of you can say i i or iot and uh, earlier it is no, everything was uh, like a traditional way like uh, manual intervention or manual data as or you can say manual decisions like uh, now the management has realized the benefits of this ai and iot because it is not something that we want to reduce manpower or we want to uh, reduce the dependency of um, uh, the manpower but it is something the accuracy of result you can say uh, dependency is not uh, required skill set is not required for analysis because if one person is there in quality so i will be needing that person because of its skill sets okay but if i only put one person also and all this previous data i will feed in the machine the machine has to tell me what is the root cause of this based on the previous data otherwise i have to put three person to analyze that individual failures but if everything is in their person's mind it will it depend it goes only person specific so we are trying to come out of the you can say manual processes manual uh, dependency on persons so we are trying to digitize everything from system so that uh, dependency as well as accuracy level will increase in future so here uh, we have selected 1200 parameters so like 1200 parameters including all uh, i will just give the background uh, about this plant actually and my role like i am responsible for purchasing of almost 250 plus companies material which is required for engine and engine engine is made of almost uh, 2500 parts 
2500 unique parts okay and that we are getting from across india as well as china germany uh, us we are getting from all these uh, countries okay 10% is getting we are getting from uh, import countries and 90% is uh, we are getting from the uh, local supplier like chennai delhi and pune okay so for this project we have selected some components wherein all 1200 parts are there uh, um, parameters are there so we have defined these parameters we have fit these parameters these are the three uh, you can say um, uh, machine um, learning models like uh, whatever i explain you before that supervised learning and unsupervised learning okay so if you uh, go back end of this uh, learnings there are exibust catabust and random forest these are the three machine learning platforms okay so based on the application of our project or you can say the accuracy result required or how many parameters you can fit to the machine we have to choose choose uh, which model we have to go for that depends on the you can say the uh, the expert which is working on the ai project okay these are the parameters okay like oil temperature oil leak rate then while water leak rate like that these are the parameters okay and these are the data groups source what are the values of that parameters then uh, leak test hot test how many engines are tested for leak test hot test test not required required test these are the past data we have collected this past data okay and here again some uh, you can say correlation models are uh, built above that past data similarly uh, for other machines same data are captured so here uh, you will see the output like this is the cold test data for oil oil relief temperature so in this these are the sorry pointer is not coming on screen just one minute so here you can see some uh, graph okay so here it is showing no test required okay and here it is showing test required for this parameters so this average temperature of cold test will decide whether it has to go for hot test or not go for hot test and what is the percentage or you can say probability of prediction of hot test and cold test it is mentioned here similarly below by is one other parameter and here uh, you can say the these are the number of questions which are required before going for model like whether it is passing nlbt whether uh, it is the engine has done the cold test whether is required hot test or test load test so all these questions will give certain kind of data lblt cold test hot test and load test so at each test we need some certain decision whether after this test whether we have to go for cold test whether we have to go for hot test or whether we have to go for load test so these three four decisions are interrelated based on the you can say the uh, results of the previous test okay here how the output will look uh, like this for the all the test results okay so it is done from my side so anyone now can ask questions ah uh, uh, sir good morning sir uh, yeah, try to clear uh, doubts uh, hello good morning sir hello yeah, good morning very good morning ah good morning sir this is uh, manigandan yeah, from panimular uh, yeah this is manigandan from panimular engineering college chennai sir actually uh, you are explaining yeah. uh, well uh, uh, which, which what are the technologies which is available in the mahendra company uh, it's excellent yeah. but uh, uh, actually you are using the latest technologies iot and then artificial intelligence ar vr like that actually from my side uh, one question it may arise sir uh, whether are incorporating any uh, uh, there is a security system sir you know because here we you are using the wireless technologies right therefore Actually, obviously uh, all... we are not uh, using yeah we are not using security system at plant level okay oh. what we are doing all, all these all these you can say uh, data are getting captured these data are getting earlier it was getting captured at our server 
ओके फॉर एक्झाम्पल महिंद्रा इज हॅव्हिंग थ्री प्लॅन्ट इन पुणे ओके तो दे इज टू हॅव वन सर्वर इन चाकन दे इज टू हॅव वन सर्वर इन मुंबई दे इज टू हॅव वन सर्वर इन यु कॅन से नाशिक ओके सो फॉर दिस ऑल दिस थ्री सर्वर देर आर सेपरेट सिक्युरिटीज वेअर रिक्वायर्ड लाईक बिकॉज ऑफ सम यु कॅन से हॅकिंग ऑर सम डाटा अटॅक इंडिव्हिज्युअल लेवल वी नीड टू पुट सम आय टी इंजिनियर्स आर वी हॅव टू कंटिन्युअसली मॉनिटर विथ अवर फायरवॉल सॉफ्टवेअर तो हाऊ टू अवॉइड द हॅकिंग ऑफ दिस डाटा ओके बट वॉट वी हॅव डन नाऊ वी हॅव नॉट वी आर नॉट किपिंग दिस डाटा इज ऑन इंडिव्हिज्युअल सर्वर्स नाऊ वी हॅव टाय अप विथ ऑफिस थ्री सिक्स्टी फाईव्ह ऑर यू कॅन से क्लाउड सो ऑल दिस डाटा आर गेटिंग कॅप्चर्ड ॲट द सेंट्रल क्लाउड सर्वर नाऊ ओके अँड सिक्युरिटी ऑफ दिस डाटा इज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ क्लाउड सो वी हॅव गिव्हन दिस यू कॅन से कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट टू क्लाउड नाव सो ऑल दिस डाटा आर गेटिंग इन क्लाउड सॉफ्ट सर्वर सो सिक्युरिटी अँड डाटा मेंटेनन्स अँड डाटा यू कॅन से डाटा यू कॅन से अवॉइड ऑफ डाटा थेप्ट इज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ क्लाउड अँड वर जस्ट मॉनिटरिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दॅट यू कॅन यू कॅन से अवर समबडी विल कॉर्डिनेट विथ क्लाउड टीम ओके सर ओके सर थँक यू yeah because here uh, all are very confidential data because someone uh, uh, suppose if you are using the internet someone uh, they may hack your data no that's why i am asking no no now, it because is not, the cyber security is very important now this right? correct correct it is not on internet first of first thing is it is not in internet okay it is on maybe a in internet right? maybe internet right it is in your uh, internet it is not intra- internet it is internet internet, yeah, internet is internet. In company server only Okay, 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 okay. Okay, sir. Actually, sir, in your plant, uh, are you seeing uh, any uh, virtual uh, reality technologies uh, in any part, sir? Uh, we are actually, we are, we are, we are using uh, that for, uh, you can say, training of the operators. Okay. Okay, sir. So, we are having one training center, okay, at our end. So, we are in... Okay. Uh, earlier we have to wish to do for example engine assembly and disassembly okay so okay. we have to explain that operator each and every part he has to manually uh, remove he has to assemble that kind of things were required earlier okay so what we have done we have uh, developed this uh, via whatever we, uh, virtual reality you are telling that virtual reality we have developed that within some 3 4 lakh okay and now that operator is just putting that uh, vr on his uh, eyes and he has to just uh yeah you can say imagine whether he is tightening a bolt you are he, he is removing bolt he is removing some parts so all these uh, virtual uh, virtually he can imagine and that that we are using currently only for training training purpose only okay okay that it is not implemented in the plant right sir which it is under the in the training it is not implemented it is it is implemented but it is not for uh, you can say manufacturing or assembly line it is only for training of the people oh, currently uh, so what are new operators purpose. are coming to plan okay, okay, okay. Okay. training purpose because whenever i am putting something on line na they will yeah. make some mistakes directly if i put on line they will make mistake they will put some wrong part or they will use some wrong part or they will miss some parts okay okay, okay. so before going on the actual line we are giving some training uh, to the offline uh, you can say uh, some uh, institute is there inside plant only so wherein they have to learn how to assemble the engine how to Uh, make assembly of parts you can say how to remove the parts so earlier what we used to do actual parts we have to do do this some such things and in that case they are scrapping some parts you can say or they are doing some wrong things now before giving them actual engine assembly we are doing virtual reality uh, training also for them so that uh, many number of times they can do these trials remove the parts uh, unlock the part uh, assemble the part that trials they can do uh, in their uh, you can say real it is not a reality it is virtual reality okay okay uh, and in fact you, we have one uh, institute also in okay, nashik okay. um, it is called as the mahindra institute of quality so wherein uh, they have almost 6 uh, to 7 uh, uh, you can say separate virtual reality lab is there okay so wherein there is a one day training program is there there also we are sending our persons also for some time to understand uh, how the virtual reality or how we can uh, make some examples of similar things 
ஓகே ஓகே தேங்க்யூ சார் ஆக்சுவலி சார் வாட் இஸ் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஆகுமெண்டட் ரியாலிட்டி அண்ட் விர்ச்சுவல் ரியாலிட்டி சார் ஆக்சுவலி த விர்ச்சுவல் ரியாலிட்டி ஐ திங்க் இன் யூர் கம்பெனி யூ ஆர் யூஸ்ட் இன் த ஃபார் த ட்ரைனிங் பர்பஸ் யூஆர் யூசிங் எனி ஆகுமெண்டட் ரியாலிட்டி சார் வாட் இஸ் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் நோ நோ ஐ ஆம் ஊ ஆர் கரண்ட்லி நாட் யூசிங் ஆகுமெண்டட் ரியாலிட்டி ஓகே ஓகே பட் பட் ஊ ஆர் ஹேவிங் சம் பிளான்ஸ் டு யூஸ் தட் ஓகே இன் ஃபியூச்சர் ஓகே ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் தேங்க் யூ சார் தேங்க் யூ thank you yeah thank you thank you for question hello sir yeah good afternoon sir mm. sir uh, yeah this uh, iot that you have implemented in uh, this is implemented in the chakan plan right yeah chakan plan so uh, is it uh, implemented throughout uh, all the mahindra uh, shoplers or uh, in chakan or only in the uh... oh, no it is it is uh, not implemented across mahindra okay okay uh, they have they have started with uh, some uh, you can say some projects like uh, for nashik uh, they are working on predictive maintenance project okay okay and for kandivli they are working on uh, one project of transmission okay for predicting the transmission warranty life okay. okay for chakan plant like mahindra heavy engines we are working on this nine projects so mm. this basically whatever plants i am working in this is a first plant which has started this projects from last uh, you can say 6 or 7 months because this all this comes with a very high cost okay yes, sir. and uh, uh, we have to justify to management whether that uh, return on investment will come with that uh, you can say cost uh, benefits okay for example uh, we have uh, we went with uh, sap okay we have went to microsoft so we have assess almost three to four companies wherein we have taken the quotation from all the suppliers okay first but microsoft has given some 3 crore quotation for two programs then we went to sap sap also given some 3 or 4 crore quotation so money management was not ready to invest such amount at a initial stage only wherein okay. they are not sure whether that project will yield some three crore results after three years or four years so we have to convince to our management and finally uh, we went with a jda uh, who uh, is working with us on two projects one is on quality one is on maintenance wherein they have quoted 75 lakhs and they will work with us for next one year now further one year and okay. they will uh, benchmark this project and these projects can be copy paste same as it is in other plants Yes, yes. Because so this, this is Chakan, a pilot project. Okay, so Chakan will become like a proof of concept that can be horizontally deployed. Then, yeah, yeah, that can be copied with other other Mahindra plants. Okay. Because whatever predictive maintenance or predictive quality I am talking about, it is not something that other plants uh, need to follow something different. Only yeah. their input data will change. Yes. Otherwise, model will be same only. Yes, sir. And model thing... output everything will be same. So another thing is uh, how were uh, the management able to convince the workers no because i am asking because uh, like we are from mechanical field so other industries might also approach uh, us to help in uh, implementing industry 4.0 in their own shop floors so if you can yeah uh, basically uh, actually there is some uh, some uh, misunderstanding about this uh, workers and industry so it is not something that uh, after implementing this project the workers uh, job will go or you can say number of workers will reduce mm-hmm. it is not something like that it is something like it is a kind of advanced analytics okay it will just give you the decisions which uh, people are currently taking manually okay and uh, it will just uh, avoid the time of uh, losses like in case of downtime losses or you can say quality losses quality issues so whatever is coming because of some failures afterwards and we were correcting that failures after fail, I mean, failure happening it will just just give some predictive signals or you can say it will give some predictive analysis that before having failures you need to take actions so it is you can say hardly 5 to 10% workforce will be reduced with this but 90% workforce is required only because industry uh, it cannot go and we cannot have automation uh, in uh, indian industry because yes. manpower is cost is low in, in indian industry hmm. if you go to other foreign countries 
they go, they will go for automation with the ai projects because their manpower cost is very high but in india going for automation with such a low manpower cost is not practically viable project currently okay thank you sir thank you yeah thank you so i just wanted to ask whether uh, all these uh, engineering colleges have started uh, teaching these subjects now uh, in final year or second year how it is coming uh, now because uh, at our time, around 2003 it was not even we were not knowing yeah nowadays it is uh, separate subjects in your engineering college now sir talking about uh, bmt nagpur for this talking about uh, sir now only they are introduced the new uh, okay. department sir like uh, artificial intelligence and then augmented reality virtual reality actually till now uh, we have no uh, okay. topic like this sir so in vnit nagpur one center of excellence in industry okay. 4.0 is okay. going to get uh, started so computer science electronics electrical and mechanical engineering okay. departments will be participating together so they will be taking up projects uh, in okay. a interdisciplinary way and then they'll be using their own domain expertise for uh, executing the projects yeah so going forward uh, whenever either you are from mechanical or you are from electronic or engineering any stream na you have to have this knowledge because industry is moving towards this only now yes sir Cross so whatever manual processes or you can say yeah this knowledge is very much required because even uh, we are far behind uh, in terms of you can say industry in india with industry 4.0 and we are also trying to match up uh, our speeds now yeah any anybody want to ask anything You can continue, sir. Uh, so, any anyone anyone has question because it is done from my side. I was just trying to answer some of the questions. Any other queries from the audience? So I think no other questions from the audience, sir. Yeah. I so hope you, uh, it is uh, at least given some perspective about the industry. How we are using this in industry. So can we end up this session, sir? You want to summarize anything, sir? Uh, no actually it was uh, it was very interactive session in fact uh, uh, at least i have got uh, this uh, chance to interact with all these professors and uh, your faculty member in fact thanks for giving this opportunity okay we are also uh, learning in this ai projects okay and we'll also got some insights from your team that how you are looking this from uh, industry or you can say academic point of view and uh, we'll at least get some inputs so how to go about this cheers so thank you once again from the organizing committee sir so let me invite yeah. uh, mr arun k sir for the vote of thanks yeah uh thank you sir uh, so actually your uh, session was very informative uh, and uh, actually the session on iot in manufacturing industry and q with the case in mahindra industry was very interesting uh, so you have linked it with what happening in mahindra it was very interesting sir and the special thanks to areas on quality modeling approaches hope everyone who have enjoyed this particular session on behalf of this entire and wish you the family i would like to thank sundar sir for his wonderful session thank you sir yeah thank you very much for inviting me thanks a lot thank you